Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Don back here with another build video, man. And today I got y'all with a dope center build, man. Make sure you like and subscribe, like the video, subscribe to the channel, man. We're on the way to 1k. I am 14 subs away, man. So make sure to do your boy a favor and sub up to the channel. We are so close, man. A lot of new things dropping as soon as I hit 1k. I'm talking about channel gonna be redone, um, different types of content. I got all types of stuff just as soon as I hit 1k. So help me get there, man. I'm excited for the changes and everything, and I know y'all want to see it. So make sure y'all do y'all thing hit that subscribe but we're going with a center build i'm trying to make something that could play some crazy interior defense as well as shoot on the outside play a little defense on the perimeter so i am going to put on perimeter defense I'm definitely going to have on steel but all right let's get into it man i really can't wait to show y'all this video all right first thing you want to do we're going to make a center build uh, height 72 the weight 241 with the wingspan we're going to 711 and for the body shape we're going to go with define so the thing you want to notice on this build is that i was trying to make sure that i got a 70 driving dunk i know a lot of y'all look at these builds and see how you can tweak it which you should do you, you know try to make the build for yourself you know just something else but uh make sure you get that driving dunk at a 70 and the only reason why is because you want to make sure you can get um, the pro alley oops, it, it, they really help, man. Just trust me on that. The pro alley oops are something that you definitely want to have on this build to make it a little more versatile. So, yeah. But all right, let's get right into the finishing. So with this build on the finishing, we actually will have a little bit of something in at least every category, man. So all right, for the close shot, we can go to 51. Now, and I know you're probably thinking the center with a 51 close shot, like that's a terrible idea. Just trust me. Hang with. Me. Pretty much, we on this build, our offense is, you know, literally shooting or three. I mean, shooting threes or uh, dunking. Like, we're not really trying to do anything else with this build. Um, it's more of a popper build than anything else. You know, we're not really on this build to bang with, you know, other bigs down low. But you can cut. That's the thing. Like, I did make this build to be able to cut to the hoop just in case, you know what I'm saying, the pop ain't there, you can still, you know, slash a little bit. And with the driving dunk being at a 70, you can actually finish those driving dunks. And uh, the layup is, is low too. So, I mean, really, we just trying to make sure we can finish with power at the rim. Like, I'm not trying to get no layups. Now, uh, for the midi, we're going to go with an 80. Oh, hold on, I actually didn't go over this. So, close shot, we're going with a 51. Driving layup, we're going to leave that at a 50. Driving dunk, we're going to go to 70. Like I've been talking about, the 70 for a minute, man. Make sure you get that 70 for those alley-oop uh, animations, man. Just trust me. Uh, steady dunk, I'm going to go with a 99. And post control, I'm going to go to 81. Now, one thing about the an animations for the alley-oops, make sure you plan with a point guard those oops, man. If you're playing by yourself, this build honestly might not be for you. But if you got a point guard with a lot of IQ that can throw oops, then this, this build will probably work for you. Um, it's definitely something that fits my play style. Cause, you know, lately I've been rep grinding just a little bit. I want to get one of the mascots, man. And, uh, yeah, the point guard that I run with, he throws oops. Like, we, we, it's actually a part of our offense. People cut him to throw oops because we all rep grinding. We all trying to get these mascots. So, you know, we out here doing our thing. What a job, you know what I'm saying? It'd it be, it be a little tough, you know, getting on after working all that. Uh, like I said, the build will be able to shoot as well. The mid-range, we're going with an 80, which is more than enough to get the job done. Like, for the 80 mid-range, you really shouldn't have any issues hitting those shots. Uh, we're going with a 71 with a three-point shot. You'll be knocked down from the corner, like for real. When you, or even when you pop with a good jump shot, you, you should still, you could shoot, you know, high 60s. Like, with my, one of my bigs, I have a 74-3, and I knock him down at a pretty high clip. If you need a big man jump shot, I already made that video. So go ahead and check out some of the other videos on my channel. You can see that big man jump shot I got. It is still butter, still water. You can definitely use it. Uh, with the free throw, we're going with a 74, which is, you know, above the threshold of that 70 that you need to be a successful free throw shooter. Unless, you know, unless you just got your free throw down to a sign. I mean, you could probably go with maybe high 60s. But I would suggest going around that 70 mark. Um, I use Clay Thompson, but John Giannis is good. Um, and uh, Michael Jordan both have some pretty decent free throws. 
So all right, time for the defense, where this build actually does shine, and it's really versatile. So for the interior, I only got it at a 94. I didn't feel like I needed to max this out. Uh, interior, uh, it's kind of like one of those things that has been like debatable over the past couple 2Ks. But you know, just go ahead and put it on. I will put on a little bit of perimeter defense uh, just to make sure you can get some decent tests out there. Um, because you have bad perimeter defense, a lot of the times, why those little small point guards are able to pull up on you and do that, do them crazy animations, man. Just trust me, you need perimeter D. Uh, that block, we're gonna put that all the way up. The offensive rebound, we can go to an 85. Now, the reason I'm going with 85 as opposed to trying to max this out is because I don't feel like I need it. You know what I'm saying? And on the offensive end, I really don't plan on being down there. This is one of those pick and roll type builds. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of times where I'm out on the perimeter and I may not even be able to get to the offensive rebound. So I'm really not going to you know, be down there struggling for it. Defensive rebound, I'm going to go to 95. I do not think you need rebound chase for Hall of Fame. It, I don't feel the difference. So I'm going to just keep it a buck with you. And then for the physicals, we are going to almost max everything out except stamina. With the stamina, we can go to 95. Just do your Gatorade drills. You know what I'm saying? Buy Gatorade if you want to. Use that little reaction drill to get, you know, to get a little money off the, the Gatorade, even though it is still crazy expensive. Um, and then we can go ahead and press continue. And this build only gets two different takeovers, but trust me, this is a role player type build. This is the type that has an exact function and it is going to perform to just that. So the role that we're performing to is that popper build, that, that center build that can play defense on other centers, of course. Defend the pick and roll a little bit. Um, it won't be a lead at it, so if you have an issue, just go ahead and switch with your four. Um, defending the pick and roll. I see this how a lot of pro-am teams are starting to do it. You know, having the four defend the pick and rolls and post to the five. Um, interior bad drop is what I'm going with, and then see the future. Um, I used to talk crap about this, but seeing the future actually helps when you got a center with a crazy reach like this one. Um, you can get to a lot of those rebounds that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. And yeah, uh, this build comes out as a two-way facilitator. Shades of Kimbe Mutombo, uh, Rudy Gobert, and uh, Mitchell Robinson. Uh, I can definitely see the Mutombo, but this build does have some offensive capability. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not dead to rights on offense. Not saying Mutombo was, but I'm just saying this one got threes, midi, you know, passing is elite. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of stuff going on with this build. But yeah, normally I will show y'all the badges, but hey man, I'm going, I'm running a little short on time. So I will catch y'all boys in the next one. Until next time, uh, make sure you check out some of my other videos. Like up, please. It helps out so much. So I'll catch y'all boys in the next one, man. It's your boy Donald. I'm out of here. Peace.